that's what we're doing tonight. The coconut not so shape here yeah, from Jake's Craft Brewing. Fortunate enough to get a bottle of this. And to my knowledge, there's only two people that have got this on Jay Corey, and that's me and New to Homebrew Tom. So I'll not be scoring them though, don't worry. Not a monster. Not to say Tom's a monster, but you know. Not into scoring beers at all. And with the two score, I always end up scoring low. Because I always think there's something better coming along. Could be the greatest beer in the world. And I still think there's something better coming along. So we've got the Teku glass tonight. Just for a little change. Normally in the pint glass. Old school. Okay, there we go. Let's read the label. Okay, we've got, in terms of hops, Columbus, Cascade and Mosaic. And of course, Toasted Coconut. And then we've got our malts, flecked oats in there as well, so, so that's cool. Looks, looks good. Looks a bit darker in camera than it does in reality, but it's a lovely, almost bright orange colour. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Lovely white head, kind of biggish bubbles, but I think the head might stick around. It's kind of clinging to the sides of the glass, it's one of those ones. Um, bloody looks good, doesn't it? Oh my god, yeah, yes, hops, hops. I mean, good old Jack, you can rely, <clears throat> you can rely on him to, to put a dump a load of hops into it. Oh, that's fantastic. It actually smells, the camera's going to go there, sorry. we're back. It smells great. It smells um it smells like mosaic actually it kinda it's got that real kind of citrusy tropical kind of mix. It smells like something in particular but um, uh, the word is deserting me of what it is. Not an awful lot of the um coconut, it's just pure hops. It smells like an IPA but that'd be fantastic. Mmm. Cheers. Ooh. Oh yeah, you definitely get the coconut in the taste. Mmm. Mmm, that's really nice. That's really nice. Don't talk until you've had two drinks. Hold on. It's really horrible, don't worry. Money joking. Of course, money joking is bloody lovely. You really do get the coconut. It's kind of well carbonated, like jazz was. Maybe a little less. But his definitely tastes different to that. I don't know whether it was the RO water or what, but that that was good. It's not, it's not particularly bitter. I don't actually know what the IBUs are for um, this beer. I can't really remember. Not an awful lot. It's a pale ale. It's a shape here. There's the um, the clue. So the bitterness is not really there. You get a bit of a sizzle on the tongue. From the carbonation. And you get the kind of the hop taste, and then you get the lovely coconut in the end. That is a top beer, I would say. Really enjoy that. Was it five point seven? Oh, jeez. <clears throat> it's below six, but it's one of those beers where you could have you could have a number of them in a night and get into a lot of trouble. It actually works really well. That mosaic. 
on the end, you know, now that I think about it, I think Jay's didn't have Mosaic in it, had the Citra. I think. But the Mosaic works really well with that coconut. I don't know what it is, it leaves kind of a taste in your mouth. Not just coconut, but it's like co coconut. I don't know. Coconut and um, some kind of fruity kind of. Fruity mix in there, wow. That was really nice. What else? We got Columbus. I'm guessing the Columbus was for bettering. And Cascade and Mosaic. Now, obviously, I've mentioned the Mosaic by 10 times already. So that just leaves the Cascade. That smells fantastic, though, still. Oh! It's hard to pick out the Cascade. I think the Mosaic's kind of dominating it. Or maybe the Mosaic and the Cascade, that's all tasting together. Yep. Jake, that is a top beer. Thank you very much for sending it to me. Just give it a swirl. There's nothing like swirling a tactic glass though, is there? On a Friday night, after you finished work for the entire weekend, I'll be better. I'm away. Cheers.